What's up guys, Max here and welcome back to Black Ops 2 with Maximilian. Excuse my voice if it sounds a little bit weird, I do have a head cold at the moment, which has given me plenty of opportunity to get into some of that Call of Duty, and to rank up some guns, figure some stuff out, and uh, one of the requests I was seeing in previous episodes was uh, using more of the LMGs. I think I might have made a previous video talking about the LSAT with, um, I think I'm using uh, the, what, the stalker attachment, I always forget what it's called in this one and the silencer for a little bit more mobility and that's my favorite my favorite way to use the LSAT in this game and I still think the LSAT is the uh, the best LMG here's here's a quick tip for you guys that are looking into trying to get to use LMGs and you'd like to use them more uh, LMGs are okay in this game but they're a little bit underpowered because mobility is king in Black Ops 2 it's absolute the best thing which is the case in most Call of Duties which is why a lot of LMGs don't end up being really good but try this, um, if, you, uh, if you level up your LMG to the point where you can get like the, the millimeter scanner, not the target finder, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you should use the target finder, I actually absolutely hate the target finder, that's my, the most annoying attachment in the world. Use the millimeter scanner, it's the one that lets you see through walls, uh, what you do is you become the ultimate objective guy. You run around with scavenger and you run around with uh, smoke grenades, and you essentially smoke grenade any point you want to cap. And when you're when the smoke is everywhere, you just wait for guys to show up and shoot them through the smoke since they can't see you most of the time, um, unless they have a millimeter scanner themselves. I've gotten a lot of kills by doing stuff like that, and it's uh, it's kind of crazy how effective it actually is. So uh, give that a shot if you get a chance. But um, what you guys will notice from gameplays with LMGs, it's a much more patient style of playing. Uh, I. I really would be impressed if somebody can run around the map and, like, infiltrate spawns and do all this crazy stuff with an LMG. Uh, you'd have to be ahead of people really hard uh, to be able to pull off something like that. You gotta kind of naturally play a little bit more defensively, which is kind of a, a trait that a lot of people lack. People tend to have one playstyle, like in Call of Duty, which is, like, rushing infiltration, which is camping, you know, or, or another one which is, like, camping, sitting back, playing extremely defensively, and uh, they don't really have any variety between the two. I find my I'm able to play many different types of uh, ways in a game like Call of Duty because it kind of supports that. It gives you so many options. And in this one, like with with using the LSAT silence, I don't. I feel that it's really difficult to try to like run around with this gun and be good. Even if you have everything like attached to it, like dexterity, quick draw, all that stuff to make the gun as fast as it possibly can be, it's it's only still only so slow what you need to do is stuff like this when you're sitting on a flag and you're capturing dudes and you're essentially fortifying the area and you get so many damn points for doing so that's those are the situations I found to be the most uh, beneficial for LMGs or especially the LSAT uh, especially holding down in certain areas that give you a lot of ammo you're shooting down a lot of guys protecting flags just like this one and uh, doing stuff of that nature. I found that, especially in this game, when you play the objective really hard, which is what I'll talk about in the next uh, episode, uh, I have this absolutely insane game where I get over 100 kills and I die less than 10 times, and all I would literally was doing was running straight to B on, like, hijacked, and every single time I'd kill a couple of guys while trying to cap the flag, and it would give me literally enough points for, like, an orbital V-set. Kill three people, and you're practically to an orbital V-set plus a cap. It's crazy. Um, I can't really do that in, in this game, but what you need to do is need to understand the power positions. Like, this position right here shares a power position uh, parallel to it. Like, the guys at the other end share something very similar. Where you can shoot down the hallway and take out a lot of guys uh, that I just lightning struck, actually. This, this and certain other areas of this map really, really benefit LMGs, and I think this is actually a very good LMG map. You just can't go to certain areas and expect to win a lot of firefights. Um, you will, you will lose firefights in places that have a lot of corners, but these, these long hallways and stuff like this, oh my god, dude, your LSAT or your, your LMG will tear stuff up. Uh, it's, it's actually really effective and it's really good, especially if you're running some of the lower end kill streaks like I am right now, starting with a, uh, starting with a lightning streak and ending with an orbital B-set. Um, but essentially you're the protector, you're the defender, you're not the guy that's going to be running around and running to C right now and capping it. You're the guy that's going to be stopping people from getting to B because you have the ammunition to do so. Which is why I really like running smoke grenades, which I'm not doing right now. Uh, like I was saying, that, that smoke grenade thing offers an amazing distraction. That he would be, you would be surprised, dude. The games I've had with some of this smoke grenade nonsense—they're not the most amazing games. Like maybe like a three to a five kill death ratio, like a generally average game, but nothing like ridiculously spectacular. And this one was fairly spectacular. Um, by by keeping myself in areas of the map that really benefit the LMG, 
I prevent death. You prevent yourself from getting into those situations where your percentage of winning here is about like 15-20%. And by doing stuff like this, killing attackers, defending flags, you are uh, you are using it to its max potential. Um, and now, I don't absolutely condone using this playstyle with absolutely like every weapon. I really dislike this playstyle in a lot of situations. However, I have not found LMGs to be effective otherwise in Black Ops 2. That's the only reason why I think running around with this kind of a, with this kind of a class and with this weapon is really beneficial here because it doesn't really work in many other situations, especially since, like I was saying, yo, mobility is king in Black Ops 2 and you kind of have to play very carefully. How funny that I picked up another LMG with a target finder. You will see a lot of target finders on LMGs if you pick up if you pick them up from uh, enemy players using them. It's a little shocking, but don't use the target finder. Try out some other combinations, see what you can do. That millimeter scanner can be a lot of fun. And hopefully you can get a fairly good game, similar to this one, where I surprisingly went 71-3 and three and everyone backed out in the end. So thank you guys very much for tuning in to another episode of Black Ops 2 with Maximilian. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. My name is Max, signing out.